And now, now to the resignation of a high-ranking officer in the NYPD. It comes amid reports the mayor was meddling in police affairs, specifically how to enforce coronavirus restrictions. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from One Police Plaza this morning with more. John? Yeah, good morning to both of you. And this morning, the NYPD is down a valued chief. Uh, now, the NYPD is saying that Chief Fausto Pichardo is retiring. However, though, our police source is kind of painting a different picture here, saying that he is resigning because the mayor was trying to micromanage. Can you tell us if you're saying Exclusive video shows NYPD Chief of Patrol Fausto Pichardo dodging reporters' questions after turning in his papers and telling Mayor Bill de Blasio he's done. Sources say even the police commissioner tried to dissuade him. It's a stark contrast to December when the mayor named the 20 year police veteran the first Dominican American to take the job. Yeah, I'm speechless. This is a, a moment to celebrate and it's a moment to recognize as real progress and change at the NYPD. Ironically, earlier Tuesday, the NYPD revealed deeper changes to restore community trust in the men and women in blue. But sources say it appears the mayor didn't trust the chain of command in the NYPD. But Chardo's final straw allegedly happened when he returned home from long hours at the Borough Park protests over new COVID-related restrictions. Sources say he missed calls and messages from the mayor, which led to a blowout over the phone. The mayor wanted him to handle a block party in the Bronx that Pichardo felt a precinct commander could. Former NYPD Lieutenant Darren Porcher explains. We have a pecking order in connection with who does what. And when the mayor subsequently picks and chooses or elects who he sees fit to deal with a particular instance, it fractures the chain of command within the NYPD. Tuesday night on CNN, the mayor didn't address the resignation. When asked how enforcement was going to control a surge in coronavirus cases, he said. We've had uh, some very powerful enforcement efforts. They are being duly noted in all the communities affected. The mayor's press secretary put out a statement late Tuesday that calls Pichardo a deeply respected leader and says, quote, City Hall is continuing to have conversations with him regarding his future. And this comes at a time when police officers have been told to prepare for even more protests ahead of the presidential election, as well as the Supreme Court confirmation hearings. We're live this morning from outside One Police Plaza. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thanks. An update.